Overtimes got overtimes, eight of them actually in a main basketball game, and a one-handed Ohio athlete who just keeps filling up the stat sheet. I'm Nate Perry, and this first story could not be a better fit for NFHS overtime. Main high school basketball, Greeley versus Freiburg Academy, eight overtimes. Let's get to it. Here we go, closing seconds of the first overtime. Freiburg down 66-63 until Lorenzo Catana Villamani buries that triple from the corner to send us to the second overtime. In double overtime, it's Greeley down three. Tyler Pettengill, with three of his 40 points on the night, sends us to the third extra frame. To overtime number five, it's Pettengill again, falling into the bench. That young man is cold-blooded. But it had to end sometime. Greeley's Ethan Mishu finds Cade Ippolito, who rattles home the layup, and that's your ball game. Greeley wins a marathon, 117-115. A blood clot forced doctors to amputate part of Roshan Burns' right arm when he was eight months old. But that hasn't stopped him from playing, nay, starring for Columbus Beechcroft High School. After splitting time at running back and wide receiver, and also playing safety on the gridiron this past fall, Burns has put up some big time scoring numbers as a guard on the basketball team. The junior, who also plans to run on the track team in the spring, is averaging 23.4 points per game for Beechcroft and posted a season-high 31 points in a January 10th win over Columbus Centennial. His dream, however, is to one day become the second one-handed football player ever in the National Football League, following in the footsteps of his inspiration, former Seattle Seahawk Shaquem Griffin. We hope you enjoyed this episode of NFHS Overtime. We'll see you again soon. So long, everybody.